Understanding the phrase, go undercover, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, go undercover. This phrase is commonly used in English, and understanding its meaning and usage can add a great layer of depth to your language skills. So, let's dive in. Go undercover is a phrase that describes the action of someone disguising their identity or role, usually for the purpose of a secret investigation. The phrase often conjures images of spies, detectives, or journalists who hide their true identity to gather information without being detected. It's commonly used in contexts related to law enforcement, journalism, and sometimes in everyday situations where someone needs to keep their actions or intentions secret. The term, undercover, has its roots in the idea of being hidden under a cover, metaphorically speaking. It's like wearing a mask or a disguise. In movies and books, characters going undercover might change their appearance, assume a false name, or pretend to have a different job. In real life, professionals like police officers or journalists might go undercover to gather evidence or information without influencing the situation with their real identity. Let's see how, go undercover, is used in sentences. 1. The detective had to go undercover to infiltrate the smuggling ring. 2. For her latest article, the journalist went undercover in the company to expose the truth. 3. Sometimes, in order to understand your customer's experience, you need to go undercover and visit your own store anonymously. Some synonyms or similar phrases include Work incognito Emphasizes on the hidden identity aspect Assume a false identity Focuses on the adoption of a different persona Infiltrate often used in more action-oriented or strategic contexts. And that's a wrap on, Go Undercover. I hope this video has been insightful and adds a new phrase to your English vocabulary arsenal. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and contexts behind them. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.